was actually active actually today. Uh, today. Did you hear that? Dr. Nick Begich serves as Executive Director of the Lay Institute on Technology. He is the publisher and co-owner of Earth Pulse Press Incorporated. He was twice elected president of both the Alaska Federation of Teachers and the Anchorage Council of Education. He received his doctorate in traditional medicine from the Open International University for Complementary Medicine in 1994. Begich has also worked as both a tribal administrator and village planner uh, for the Chickaloon uh, Village uh, Traditional Council, a federally recognized American Indian tribe. Uh, a tribe nation uh, based in Alaska. He's written a number of books. Uh, Angels don't play Angels this hard, and they don't. Earth Rising, the revolution uh, toward a thousand years of peace. Earth Rising 2, the betrayal of science, society, and the soul. And then finally, a DVD, Mind Control, a brave new world, or enhancing human performance technologies of the 21st century. So, it is indeed an auspicious eve for Dr. Begich to be with us, which he will be in a moment. Dr. Nick Begich wrote uh, Angels Don't Play This Hard on a lot of other things. And so he's a, you know, he's a veteran um, in the, I guess, the same sense uh, that I am. He's watched all of this develop very carefully. And here we are, yet again, Dr. Begich, welcome to the program yep. on a night yep. when uh, a yep. major hurricane is approaching the shores of the United States. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's um, you know, uh, the uh, time of extremes in terms of, of weather and climate, and I think. You know, we've been talking about this now for well, at least a decade, you and I, <laughs> to continue to That's right. meet our expectations, right. no matter how bad they might be. And unfortunately, uh, it's no reflection of expectations a lot of us have. Had. All right, Doctor, I'm going to remind you to stay good and close to the phone so you we have a good connection. And uh, let's let's go back. Let's make, just spend a few minutes and talk about uh, power it up. How interesting is that? So when you say power it up, uh, we're going to be aiming on uh, how much uh, radio frequency at the ionosphere? Well, you know, the original goal, they wanted a um, an effective radiated power of a billion watts. And that, what we understand, that would take the full array, which is 360 antennas. So this would get them about halfway there. Uh, you know, that's a huge amount of energy. But what's different about this is by manipulating the energy, you're pulsing the energy. It capitalizes on energy that's already available naturally within the environment, and then based on based how on that energy reacts with the uh, mechanism on the ground, you can release vastly larger amounts of energy and direct that energy. Uh, and that's where the real action is. Harp is sort of like the primer on a bullet. It's got uh, the, the small amount of energy to release the much more powerful uh, energy that's already there. And that's kind of the idea behind the idea of other modern idea. All right, so we have this situation where most antennas, uh, like the one you're, of the radio station you're listening to right now, folks, radiate from a point and widely disperse the signal right. so that everybody or as many people as possible can hear it. Right. Harp operates the other way around. Right. It begins as a wide signal on the ground, narrowing down to a virtual pinpoint of incredible amounts of energy to burn a hole in the atmosphere or or ionosphere, or what, Doctor? Now, let's talk about the purpose of heart, the sure. stated purpose of heart, and then perhaps and that then which is unstated but kind of known. About. Yeah, okay, that's uh, fair enough. All right, so what's it for? What's it supposed, supposed to be? Well, the, the old term for these was ionosphere heaters, and you kind of alluded to that opening this up, because it would heat an area of the ionosphere. Heart, 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 now, let's talk about the purpose of HARP, the stated sure. purpose of HARP, 
And then perhaps that which is unstated but kind unstated. of known. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Uh, All right, so what's it for? What's it supposed, supposed to be? Well, the, the old term for these was ionosphere, was your keters, and you kind of alluded to that with opening this up, is it would heat an area of the ionosphere, which begins about 30 miles above the Earth's surface, and push that area, say, the 30-mile diameter area, shove it out maybe a couple out, extra hundred kilometers or more. Uh, what then happens is lower atmosphere moves in and fills that space and can be used for use, um, intersecting of uh, the uh, orbit of a low orbiting satellite, for instance, mm -hmm. and it encounters, you know, encounters atmosphere. So wait a minute, the ionosphere at 30 miles, you're saying, right? Yeah. And it, it hits it so hard, it bulges so out, and then like a balloon sort of pops, and then you can hit things in space or affect them? Well, in low orbit. But they're going to be aiming uh, how much uh, radio frequency at the ionosphere? Well, you know, the original goal, they wanted a, um, an effective radiated power of a billion watts. And that, from what we understand, that would take the full array, which is 360 antennas. So this is going to be about halfway there. Uh, you know, that's a... Stabilize it to, to create chaos within the system, see how it restabilizes, being able to learn ways to propagate the signals through the ionosphere. But wait a minute, uh, that's taking a system like our ionosphere and saying, hey, let's screw it up and see how it manages, how it manages, how it manages. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. Exactly right. In fact, the magnetic field lines, which is really what HARP is all about, and the programs like HARP are really all about, are understanding ways to do that for weapons applications, and then there's all kinds is that of... Actually, is that actually stated in the goals, Dr. Yeah, it's the idea of manipulating the, the ionosphere uh, to destabilize it, to, to create chaos within the system, see how it restabilizes, being able to learn ways to propagate signals through the ionosphere. But wait a minute, uh, that's taking a system like our ionosphere and saying, hey, let's screw it up and see how it manages, how it manages. Yeah, yeah, well, it's exactly right. Exactly right. Exactly right. In fact, you know, well, how bright is that? That's not very bright. You know, that's why we've been, very you know, bright. fighting this thing for as long as we have it. Stated purpose of HARP is uh, I didn't know it was knocking satellites out of the sky. Well, one one of the things that shows up that uh, within the, 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 the stated goals in the initial papers on the project, the others are communications, you know, interfering and. Uh, and uh, facilitating our own communications, being able to understand, you know, the character of the item. Carp was actually active, actually, today. Uh, Did you hear that? Today.